No, it's real. It's very strange. These Chinese rural people live in. I'm now in an ordinary village in southern China. In this video, I will introduce the houses of the poor, the middle class, the upper class, and the rich. It's like a hotel. Houses yeah. without decoration are the houses of the poor. Most of their houses are for the basic survival. They don't care about the beauty and the comfort of the houses. Let's go inside and have a look. Someone is sleeping here. This bed is made <laughs> look of at this rat human. and a board. It's so sick. The owner of this family told me that he had tried to make money in the door business. But so far, nothing has been achieved. He told me his annual income is about $10,000 a year. Good luck to him. Next, let's take a look at the middle class families in rural China. The middle class families have become comfortable. Let's go inside and have a look. You can see the television is bigger than the last one. I guess it's 70 inches. Although their furniture is not luxurious, they have everything. The owner told me that they are very satisfied with their current life. He's a child and his favorite hobby is drinking tea. This kind of family is also the most common in rural China. He said his annual income was about $30,000 a year. Next is the house of the upper middle class families. Families like this usually spend most of their time living in the city and occasionally... It's like, what, what is that? That's life. a jewelry store. Look at these two mascots. Oh, <laughs> food dog. This is their living room. It's really big. The European chandeliers it's like Saddam Hussein's place. Movie. Yeah, like China. European this way is their dining room. And here is the Ugly. I turned on all the lights for the camera, and it's a lot of work to turn them off. But like, now. this big I one is like juxtaposed to, to like the shacks. It's videos. like really weird. So I hope you can give me likes right. and follow to support Let's me. see the really rich, whether they don't let them go there. Is the house of the rich. Oh, it's they malls. They have their own manor. Basketball court, swimming pool, and garden are their basic configurations. It's so luxury inside that some people may feel uncomfortable. So I won't show it to you for the time being. Decades ago, people in this village lived in the similar houses like this. This is one of the oldest houses in Quanzhou. Strange. Although very old, but very beautiful. Look, says who? Grandma is 94 years old. Well, Grandma needs the to know her house is fucking ugly, so. The old place is the pretty one. That old that old house, you didn't like that? Um I don't like anything. I don't like any of that. Yeah, they're all those other ones are all terrible, but at least the old one doesn't look uh, tacky. It's true. I'll give you yeah, you know. It, this has an open sort of courtyard type thing. Yeah, because like the, the last one they showed was like the traditional one, but the other ones are like them trying to like be like do gaudy like western shit. But, yeah. It almost seems Middle Eastern style yeah it's the same yeah. mind set it's like borat house yeah if you've ever seen romanian or bulgarian houses the, when they have money they look like uh like the place where um uh who's the little fucking andrew tate the little fuzzy man the fucking uh khabib yeah yeah, khabib. yeah. like his you know he's got a hundred million dollars the house that he lives in looks like fucking falcon statue was de yeah designed by a desert eagle. Yeah, man. A guy who dances in the Pakistani army yes. designed his house. Yes. You ever see the Pakistani army dances? I think so, yeah. It doesn't look make them look like an army. <laughs> it makes